So what happens if one of your drivers gets injured? In this video, I'm gonna talk about workers' compensation insurance, what it is, how it works, and why it's important, and how it's looked at for trucking companies. As we all know, trucking is a crucial industry that moves goods across the country, supporting many other businesses in the process. However, it is also a very dangerous industry that poses many risks to the drivers and the employees who work in the industry. This topic is very close to me because recently I had a driver tear a bicep on loading a trailer and was out for about two months. I have to be honest, I had no idea what to do. Luckily, the company that we have our insurance through was great to work with. They guided me through the process and they were able to get his claim paid and his medical bills all situated. So when your driver's injured, this is where workers' compensation insurance comes into play. Workers' comp insurance is a type of insurance that provides benefits to employees who suffer work-related injuries or illness. These benefits typically cover medical expenses, lost wages, rehabilitation costs, and especially in the trucking industry, it's important to protect your employees and allows them to ensure their financial stability is solid in the event of an injury. Trucking companies all have a duty to provide a safe workplace for their employees, However, accidents can happen despite their best efforts. When this accident occurs, workers' comp insurance helps to cover the cost of the medical treatment, the lost wages, and it also provides financial support to the injured employee and their family. Because in the trucking industry where the risk of accidents is higher than other sectors, let's say for instance you fall off a truck, or you accidentally get hit by a car while changing a tire, or, or you tear a bicep while unloading a trailer. These are all industries that can happen to your drivers and you wanna make sure you're protected in that case. If you wanna know the difference between a 1099 contractor and an employee, check out this video right here. One of the primary benefits of workers' compensation is that it protects trucking companies from costly lawsuits. Without insurance, a trucking company may be held liable for an injured employee's medical bills, lost wages, which can quickly add up to a significant sum of money. With workers' comp insurance, these costs are typically covered by the insurance company, which reduces the financial burden to your company and allows your company to continue running their business. It's also essential to note that workers' comp insurance is a legal requirement in most states. If your company fails to provide workers' compensation for their employees, you can face penalties, fines, and legal action. You definitely want to take this requirement seriously and ensure that you have adequate insurance coverage in place. When you're choosing your provider for workers' comp insurance, First and foremost, you should make sure that the provider specializes in trucking industry, that they have experience and they know what you're going through. You also want them to understand what unique risks and challenges are involved. You should also look provider that has competitive rates and comprehensive coverage. That, that would include long-term disabilities and occupational illnesses. Another important consideration when choosing a agency for your workers' comp insurance is how they process your claims. If you have an accident, you wanna make sure you have the most up-to-date information so that they can handle the claim quickly and efficiently. This is gonna minimize the disruption to your business and it's also gonna ensure that your employee is gonna get the care they need as soon as possible. They should have a well-established process to help your business through the claims process. When it comes to choosing an appropriate level of workers' compensation, there's no one size fits all. Each business is gonna be unique and therefore your insurance needs are gonna be unique as well. Your insurance is gonna be completely different for the person that works in the office, the person that may work on a dock, or the person that drives the truck. All three of those are going to have different coverages, they're gonna have different wage structures, and they're, and they're gonna have different policy premiums. One of the primary factors is going to be the size of your payroll for your company. When you submit your initial paperwork to have your workers' comp insurance in place, you're going to have to list out all of your employees and, and what their specific duties are. So if it's the person that works in the office, what their duties are, the person that works on the dock, unloads the trailers, drives the trucks, whatever their job is, is gonna fall under different categories. It's also gonna be different rates. So the person that works in the office is probably gonna be a lot cheaper than the person that drives a truck. You also wanna consider the type of vehicles you operate. This is if you're running uh, flatbed, dry van, let's say you're doing drop and hook only, any type of that is going to affect your policy premium. If your driver is literally never leaving the truck other than to get out at the facility to hook up a trailer, you may have a less chance of them being injured moving loads. If you operate heavy duty trucks or haul heavy duty cargo, such as construction equipment or things like that, that they would be offloading, it may even have your premium be a little higher. Also, if you transport hazardous materials or fuel or anything that they could have a spill or caustic material that could burn or things like that is all going to impact your policy premium. Again, you're gonna to wanna to work with your agent to see what coverage is best for you. So we're currently insured through Byberk Insurance and our premium runs around $11,000 per year for two employees. This is due to the fact that we as owners 
do not have to carry workers' comp insurance. My brother has to cover occupational hazard insurance through the carrier, but that's about 100 bucks a month. It's not very much. The workers' comp insurance for the drivers works out to be about $5 per every $100 in wages. I believe also since we had a claim this year, our premium went up by about 10%. To be honest, I should probably shop around, but also since we had a claim, I don't know if we can. Maybe next year. I know I'm probably gonna get some comments below on how I should treat them as contractors and not as drivers to save money, fill in the blank for excuse. But honestly, when we started our business, my account advised against that. He stated that due to the fines, penalties, and if we're ever audited for having contractors, those would highly outweigh the cost of the insurance. And again, if our employee would have gotten hurt and he would have been a contractor, he could potentially have sued our company to get his medical bills paid for, uh, and then it opens up another can of worms to when the state comes in and says, well, why is he not an employee? Long, long process. I think it's just easier to go with the workers' comp insurance, even though it's expensive. So to wrap it up, workers' comp insurance is an essential component of your company's risk management but especially in the trucking space. This is gonna provide financial support to your injured employee. It's also gonna protect your company from lawsuits and any of those issues that come along with the injured employee. Again, shop around, look for different carriers that offer different quotes. Um, it's gonna be really hard when you first start out. You're gonna pay pretty much the highest maximum rate because you don't have a history of no claims or anything like that. But again, to me, it's always been better to be safe than sorry. So thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. If you like other videos on topics like this, let me know in the comments below. Or if there's any other topics, let me know what you'd like me to cover. I wish you the best of luck in your business. Until next time, have a great day.